Right now at 6, returning to the Badger State, Donald Trump is coming back to Wisconsin next week. Trump will campaign in Waukesha on Wednesday. The latest Marquette University Law School poll shows the presidential race tightening between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton in Wisconsin. Ben Jordan live in Waukesha with the latest on what the visit will mean for the November election. Yeah, Charles, this Wednesday, around 2,000 people are expected to pack the Expo Center here in Waukesha to see Donald Trump in person. Now, Republicans in town tell me they're still in need of some convincing. With 45 days to the general election, signs of support hang in Waukesha neighborhoods. And word of Trump's upcoming campaign stop is on the hesitant minds of many in this conservative-leaning county. Since he's the only Republican left, and it's going to be one of the two. It's unfortunate that, you know, we can't kick him out completely, but unfortunately that's not really it part of the Democratic process. According to the most recent Marquette poll, the race is tightening in Wisconsin. The numbers show Clinton with a two-point lead that's within the margin of error. Trump signs are flying out the flying out the door. Back in April, Waukesha County was all about Ted Cruz winning the county in a landslide in the primary. Ever since, the Waukesha Republican Party says they've seen a shift in support for Trump. Well, he hasn't been in politics, so it's it's hard to judge him politically. Trump's visit to Waukesha will be his third stop in Wisconsin since he won the Republican Party nomination, compared to zero so far from Clinton since her nomination. They'll still come here, and I don't know where they'll go specifically. Waukesha County Democratic Chair Scott Trindle says it's unlikely for Clinton to end up on top in ultra-red Waukesha, but they have their sights set on at least a third of the voters. They need 70% of the vote for their candidate in Waukesha County to overcome what we get in Milwaukee, Dane, La Crosse, Superior. And this stop will follow the first presidential debate on Monday. The or doors open here on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. For more information on how to get tickets, just find this story on TMJ4.com. Live in Waukesha, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. And today, Ted Cruz endorsed Donald Trump. Thank you very much, Ben.